Imagine a small town, shrouded in an eerie silence. A town that once bustled with life, now holds an unsettling quiet. It's as if the wind itself is too afraid to stir, the birds too terrified to chirp. This was a place where laughter echoed through the streets, where children ran carefree, and where neighbors exchanged warm greetings. But now it's a ghost town, each deserted house standing like a silent sentry, each empty street whispering tales of horror. The once vibrant farmer's market, the heart of the town, is now a desolate wasteland. The laughter, the joy, the life, it's all gone, swallowed by this chilling silence. The playgrounds stand empty, the swings eerily still. The school, once filled with the chatter of eager young minds, now stands silent and desolate. What could have turned such a lively town into a sepulchral shell of its former self? Something unspeakable happened here. But what? And where are all the townsfolk? As we delve further into the town, we begin to find chilling signs of what transpired. The first clue we encounter is a bloody handprint smeared across a once pristine white wall. The scarlet stain stands in stark contrast to the surrounding pale surface, a gruesome reminder of the terror that unfolded here. Next, we stumble upon a discarded tool, a rusty wrench, its metallic surface marred with dried, crusted blood. The sight is enough to send shivers down the spine. Whose hands once wielded this tool, and to what end? The final clue we find is a torn piece of clothing, a fragment of a once vibrant shirt, now marred with dark, ominous stains. The fabric is torn and ragged, suggesting a struggle of some kind. Each clue is more disturbing than the last, stirring a sense of dread and deepening the mystery. These clues paint a horrifying picture, but they don't tell the whole story. What really happened here? Prepare yourself as we unravel the gruesome truth behind the town's silence. In the heart of the town, a monstrous creature had reared its grotesque head, casting a shadow of fear and death. The creature, a nightmarish blend of man and beast, stood towering above the once peaceful houses. Its eyes, two fiery orbs of malevolence, glowed ominously in the darkness, while its fangs, sharp as daggers, dripped with the scarlet lifeblood of its victims. This beast was not of natural origin. Its flesh, a sickly pallor, stretched taut over its massive skeletal frame. Its limbs, grotesquely elongated, ended in claws that could shred through steel as though it were parchment. A guttural growl, a sound that could curdle blood, echoed from its throat, a grim herald of the doom that was to come. The town, once filled with laughter and joy, was now a playground for this beast. It prowled the streets, its every footstep a thunderous proclamation of its reign of terror. The houses, once filled with life, were now mere husks, their inhabitants claimed by the beast's insatiable hunger. The creature's onslaught was relentless. It tore through the town, devouring every soul in its path. Men, women, children, none were spared. The screams of the victims echoed through the night, a chilling symphony of despair only to be abruptly silenced by the beast's savage attacks. The streets ran red with blood, the air heavy with the scent of fear and death. The once bustling marketplace was now a macabre tableau of torn bodies and scattered remnants of lives abruptly ended. The beast, reveling in its carnage, let out a triumphant roar, the sound echoing through the empty streets. The creature left no one alive, turning the once lively town into a silent tomb. But not all hope is lost. There is one survivor, one brave soul who managed to escape the creature's wrath. Meet our lone hero who, against all odds, managed to evade the beast's grisly grasp. They hid in the shadows, biding their time, watching the creature's every move, learning its patterns. From their hidden vantage point, they devised a plan. A plan, not just to survive, but to fight back, to protect the town that had become a battlefield. Armed with nothing but sheer determination and a heart ablaze with courage, they prepared to face the monster. With each passing second, the tension grew. The survivor knew it was now or never. And so they made their move. The battle was fierce, the stakes high, but in the end it was the survivor who emerged victorious. The survivor managed to kill the creature, bringing an end to the horror. The town is silent, but it is no longer a tomb. It's a testament to the survivor's bravery.